because somebody asked for it. Here is a clip of what the car sounds like starting up before the beginning of this video. Well, what would you say is the worst part about the Mini that you own? What is the worst part about the Mini that you own? It's going to be the front bumper. What do I mean by this? Well, the front bumper had been lowered, or I guess it came out of the factory that way, and it caused a lot of problems and issues. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, on the front bumper of a Mini, mine, these are like, what, 15 inch, uh, you know, 15s, running 15s and stuff, I guess. So... Uh, it would cause problems, which is there is a front plastic skirt on the front of Mini Coopers usually, front guard. And the problem with this is the previous owner, or however it rolled off the dealership, the front end had been lowered. Upon the front end being lowered, uh, the problems that it caused was you could not go into a lot of locations without it majorly scra scraping or scratching or even the front of the bumper of the car. Uh, so that was a problem. I've noticed that since getting the Mustang and it wasn't really, I didn't notice it as a big issue because I always found a way around it, a different way to go inside of a place or whatever, you know, and it was just, I just looked at it as a minor inconvenience, but the Mustang has not done that at all. I've gone into places that I've gone in with the Mini that scraped really bad that, you know, almost caused some problems and stuff like that. Not had a single problem with that in the Mustang. So to answer that question, the number one thing I would say was the worst thing about owning a Mini is that the front suspension was lower and almost would drag off. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.